Hi world, Chatty Dad one coming at you today. I want to touch on an issue that's going on that I just realized uh, could be playing into their hands. We could be giving them exactly what they want. It's funny that this is falling in the second week of October. Now I do support this. Truck, truckers to shut down America. Well, this could cause exactly what they want. Martial law. If this has a big enough effect on the country, this is what you're going to see. Now, I don't think this is what they want. I don't think this is what the truckers want. They just want America, the politicians especially, to wake up and to stop ignoring us and to bring the fuel costs down and some other things. But in doing so, they're going to say that they're inciting riots, inciting crime, you know, and all this stuff. And these guys are going to don their gear. I mean, it could get nasty in the cities. And they will be ready. Because it's... They're going to be ready on October 1st. The first week of October. They'll be ready to go. So... Could this truck driving strike be exactly what they're looking for? I believe that it possibly could be. And I don't know who's behind it. And like I say, I do support it. But I think it's playing right into their hands. But you know what? What else are we to do? What else are we to do? We've got to do something. But is this the right thing to do? I don't know. I don't know. Because people could die. A lot of people could die. That didn't have nothing to do with any of this stuff. Um, some people live day to day. Some people don't have three days. Three days could turn into a month for some people. So, I don't know. I don't know that this is the way to go. We're treading on thin ice around here. And this could be the straw that broke the camel's back. If it is big enough, if it is successful enough, if it does what they want it to do and more if everybody joins in on it and doesn't shop and doesn't spend money doesn't do all these things I've checked out the website pretty good on Facebook and I really I really don't I don't see um, I don't see where this is going to really help our country in the long run. I mean, what is this going to bring? I don't know. Like I say, just some questions I'm throwing out there. Somebody needs to ask. Because this could be what's coming behind it. This could be what's coming behind it. And this too. But we can't live in fear. So, you know, maybe it's... Maybe it's well enough. Anyway, I'll leave the link below for this website. You can go check it out. On Facebook. 
and see if you can see where or who started this whole thing and why they're starting it and, and what's the what's the whole motive here behind it because I can't seem to find a clear motive behind it there's a lot of different things flying around but I can't seem to find a clear motive anyway just asking some questions that need to be asked and I'm wondering if this is the right thing just like Adam Kokesh's march armed march on Washington uh, he's sitting in prison right now could this cause FEMA to pull the trigger DHS to pull the trigger I mean is this or is this a setup is this a setup? Have they got things in place just for this? And the American people are taken in by it and are going right along with it. Like I say, just asking some questions that need to be asked. This is Chatty Dad 1. Never give up your guns. Your rights go right along with them. And prepare all you can. Get your stuff before this thing goes down. Because who knows how long it'll last. Three days can turn into weeks. Especially if these guys get fired. And aren't replaced quickly. But then again there's... Uh, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Prepare. Be ready. God bless. Good luck to us all. This is Chatty Dad 1. Over and out.